Kay family, teachers, sisters, and fellow graduates. Right now, I feel so blessed and grateful because we did it. We all accomplished one of the major stepping stones in our lives. And I am ready to take the next step, next chapter of our lives. This is a major step in our journey. One that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. We all worked hard for this day to come, and our work did not go to waste. Receiving our diploma is a wonderful feeling, a gift to ourselves, an inspiration to do more as we enter grade 7. Graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead part of a longer journey in life. Wherever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere. Life is a journey, and our achievements act as stepping stones that will lead to our goals. But in all our accomplishments and achievements, let us not forget all the people who helped us along the way. I would like to thank my parents for being there for me and who have supported me all this time. They are my strength, happiness, and forever love. Thank you, Mom and Dad. To our teachers and sisters, thank you for your hard work for us to become better students. Thank you for the guidance and love to each one of us. My years here in Father Donato Gianotti Foundation have been fun, memorable, and challenging. This school will always be a part of me. To my fellow graduates, classmates, and friends, thank you for all the happy memories and friendship. And most of all, thank you, dear God, for all these blessings. Blessing me with a great family and blessing me with a loving school. We have made it. Let us keep pushing and believing that we can make a better future, no matter how hard it is. Don't stop learning, don't stop growing, and don't stop dreaming. Because we can achieve our dreams, and because we are worth it. Thank you so much. Good luck, and congratulations to all of us. For the Kinder Level Abilardo Luzu Mateo First place in form citation contest. Second place in Timpalak Vigasan. Most punctual. Best in attendance. Best in English. Best in science. Best in mathematics. Best in computer. With high honors in fourth quarter. With high honors. Abelardo Lutu Mateo. Amper Julian Adam A. Best in writing. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors. Amper Julian Adam A. Balon Simon Miguel E. Third place in form recitation contest. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors. Balon Simon Miguel E. Basco Summer Luis, second place in form recitation contest, first place in Simpalak Vigasa, second place in vocal solo contest, best in writing, best in art, best in Filipino, with high honors in fourth quarter, with high honors, Basco Summer Luis. Kaboboy Cyril Mar A. Best in Writing. Kaboboy Cyril Mar A. Kalazara Jaden Matthew P. Best in Art. Kalazara Jaden Matthew P. Compostela Stanley Rain R. Third place in Timpalak Vigasan. With honors in fourth quarter. With owners, Composila Stanley Rain R. Phil Jomel. With owners in fourth quarter. With owners, Phil Jomel. Hong Skyler Duke Anthony Q. Best in R. Hong Skyler Duke Anthony Q. John Tong Maria Zirina D. First place in pop dance contest. Most punctual. Best in conduct. Best in Christian living. With honors in fourth quarter. 
with honors. John Tong Maria Zirina D. Luzaris Bryson King M. With honors. Luzaris Bryson King M. Makahilas Juvenet Maris. Third place in vocal solo contest. Third place in pop dance contest. Makahilas Juvenet Mari. Matthew Juan Carlos A. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors, Matthew Juan Carlos A. Mercado Kairi Gavin B. With high honors in fourth quarter. With honors, Mercado Kairi Gavin B. Ocampo Axel Harold T. Best in art. Ocampo Axel Harold T. Riolopi John Rovic L. Best in writing. Riolopi John Rovic L. Tonyo Gabriel B. Best in writing. Tonyo Gabriel B. Zoleta Jocelyn. Jocelyn J. First place in vocal solo contest. Second place in pop dance contest. With honors in fourth quarter. Soleta Jocelyn J. Congratulations. Grade 6 Saint Agnes. Ma'ai Fredrich Emmanuel Q. First place in general information contest. Second place in house poster making contest. With honors in fourth quarter. Baai Fredrich Emmanuel Q. Chua Angelou A. Third place in general information contest. Second place in categories contest. Third place in hella contest. Third place in mass TikTok challenge contest. Third place in Science Invention Contest. First place in Health Poster Making Contest. Best in Conduct. Best in Computer. Best in Filipino. Loyalty Awardee. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors, Chua Angelou A. De La Cruz Brittany Mitchell P. First place in Timpalag Bigkasan. First place in Mass TikTok Challenge Contest. Third place in Health Poster Making Contest. Top 9 in 4th Quarter. De La Cruz Brittany Mitchell P. Dumlao Martina Azia Rose F. First place in general information contest. First place in Hella contest. Second place in mass TikTok challenge contest. Second place in declamation contest. First place in health poster making contest. Fourth place in art poster making contest. Loyalty awardee. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors. Dumlao Martina Azia Rose F. Fernando Andre Caleb Balara. Third place in general information contest. Third place in vocal solo contest. First place in science invention contest. First place in declamation contest. Second place in health poster making contest. Best in Christian Living, Best in Helen, Best in Mopping, Best in Science, Best in Social Studies, With Honors in Fourth Quarter, With Honors, Fernando Andre Caleb Balaram, Gamulo Maria Cristina Remedio C. Third place in Catequiz Contest. First place in vocal solo contest. Third place in health poster making contest. Top eight in fourth quarter. 
Gamulo Maria Cristina Remedio C. Jubilado Carl Lawrence C. Third place in vocal solo contest. Third place in declamation contest. First place in health posture making contest. Loyalty awarding. Top seven in fourth quarter. Jubilado Carl Lawrence C. Lemetaras Mian Juliana G. First place in Catequiz Contest. Third place in Mass TikTok Challenge Contest. Second place in Vocal Solo Contest. Second place in Science Invention Contest. Second place in Health Posture Making Contest. Third place in Computer Desktop Model Contest. Second place in Hele Contest. Best in Mathematics. Best in ESP. Best in Language. Best in Reading. With Honors in Fourth Quarter. With Honors. Lemetares Rian Juliana G. Romualdo Jomwell Dusteri E. Second place in General Information Contest. First place in Health Posture Making Contest. Most punctual. With honors in fourth quarter. With honors, Romualdo Jomwell Dasuriti. Salazar Lorenzo Miguel L. Third place in health posture making contest. Top 10 in fourth quarter. Salazar Lorenzo Miguel L. Congratulations. Sister Linda, I have the honor to present to you the Kinder Candidates for the Moving Up for the school year 2020-2021. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education, I accept and pronounce the Kinder Pupils of Father Donato Genotti Foundation Incorporation for completed the curriculum required. For the Kinder Level, Abelardo Lutu Mateo, Emperor Julian Adam A, Balon Simon Miguel E, Vasco Summer Luis, Kaboboy Cyril Mar A. Calazara Jaden Matthew P. Compostela Stanley Rain R. Phil Jomel. Hong Skyler Duke Anthony Q. John Tong Marias Nerina D. Luzaris Bryson King M. Macamilas Juvenet Marie. Matthew Juan Carlos A. Mercado Kyrie Gavin B. Ukampu Axel Harold T. Riolopi John Robic L. Tonyo Gabriel B. Zoleta Jasmin J. Congratulations. Sister Belinda, I have the honor to present to you the grade 6 candidates for the graduation for the school year 2020-2021. They have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education, I accept and pronounce the student of grade 6 of Father Donato Gianotti Foundation, Incorporation, as graduates. Grade 6, St. Agnes. Baai Frederick Emmanuel Q. Chua Angelo A. De La Cruz Brittany Mitchell P. Dumlo Martina Azia Rose F. Fernando Andre Caleb Balaran. 
Camulo Maria Cristina Remedio C. Jubilado Carl Lawrence C. Lemetares Mia Juliana G. Romualdo Jamuel Desiree E. Salazar Lorenzo Miguel L. Congratulations! To our school directress, Sister Bulinda Blasabas, our principal, Sister Jocelyn Marchan, school consultant, Mrs. Solema Eugenio, teachers, parents, my fellow graduates, a pleasant morning to all of you. It is a great honor to be here today. We may have had to celebrate a little bit differently this year due to the current situation around the world. But I believe that what makes this time even more special and unique, we made it class of 2021. I would like to thank my classmates for the fun memories we had, my preschool advisors, Sister Arika and Sister Mercy for being so patient in teaching us despite all the challenges of online schooling. Thank you to my family, especially my mommy, for all the support, guidance, love, and care. I hope I made you proud. Lastly, I would like to thank our Almighty God for His provision, wisdom, and strength. I give all the honor and glory to you, God. I hope we shall all have a wonderful, challenging, and fun school year ahead. Thank you very much, and may God bless us all. To our beloved principal, Sister Jocelyn, to the sisters, teachers, dear parents, guests, and fellow generations, a beautiful good afternoon to all of you. Here we are at the end of our final school year at Father Donato. These past few months have not been easy. We are in the midst of a global pandemic, something we all have never experienced. We had to abruptly change the way we live our daily lives and sacrifice social interactions for the safety of all. Of course, we also had to quickly shift to online schooling. Nobody was prepared to do it, and yet we did it. Teachers, students, and parents, we did it. Teachers became instant techies. Parents got busy tutoring and doing tech support for their children, and students became experts in online school. We should all be proud of ourselves despite the bumps and challenges along the way. Thank you to all the sisters and teachers for your patience and dedication in teaching us our lessons. Thank you dear parents and guardians for your support and guidance. You have all taught us so much, not just academics, but also values and life skills. We may not be the most quiet or obedient of children, but please know one thing. We are very grateful for all of you, and we will be forever indebted to you. You are true heroes! Thank you as well to classmates and schoolmates for the friendship and fun memories. The time we spent at Father Donato will be forever treasured and remembered. And of course, we must thank God for His grace and blessings. It is because of Him that we stand here today. It is sad to think that we are leaving Father Donato and moving on to a new chapter in life. Yet, we must count our blessings and thank God for a new day. We are safe and healthy, and that is what's important. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will continue soaring, boldly stepping forward, marching towards the beat of our day. Thank you, everyone, and good afternoon once again. I am Martina Zeros, F. Dumlao, pledged to the best of my ability to be a true Christian, committed to live God's words. In the context of service, as I uphold the cultural heritage of the Filipino race and the ideals of Father Donato Gianotti Foundation School, 
to witness in my daily life a dynamic love of God, a sense of personal worth and respect for others, to manifest intellectual curiosity and develop interest and aptitudes, while demonstrating academic knowledge and excellence, to exert effort in creating a future that will enrich the quality of human life. So help me God. Beloved School Directress, Sister Willinda G. Blasabas, our dedicated school principal, Sister Josephine O. Marchan, our active school consultant, Mrs. Solema B. Eugenio, energetic teachers, sisters, parents, and learners, a pleasant day to all of you. In this time of pandemic, we are highly challenged in pursuing our goals as educators, school administrators, teachers, parents, and learners are trying hard to find solutions on how to cope with the demands of online and modular classes. Thanks to everyone's cooperation, we're able to overcome and handle those problems. Since online and modular preparations are new to us, teachers exert double efforts in preparing their lessons. Their presence in the lives of our learners is indispensable. Yet, we acknowledge also the contribution of our parents in the learning process of our children, who assist and facilitate every day the learning experience of our children at home. Thank you, parents, for your valuable time and energy spent in assisting your children in your home school cubicle so that they may feel they are in school. Learners are meant to stay at home while attending their online and modular classes regularly and asked to do their tasks responsibly. I congratulate you all learners from nursery to grade 6 levels, especially the grade 6 pupils, the graduate class of batch 2020-2021. Despite of all hardships you encounter throughout the online learning activities, you are able to complete the elementary scores. Put in your minds the four qualities of the ends. First, Ants are unstoppable. Second, ants think rainy days on summer days. Third, ants think summer days on rainy days. And fourth, ants gathers all what he can gather. In other words, maximize all your positive qualities for the glory of God. For you are all God's beloved children. Excel in all ways, but remain always humble. Congratulations once again to all of you. May God bless us all always. And I thank you very much. Good day everyone. Before we close this ceremony, I'd like to take this last opportunity to say on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Father Donato Gianotti Foundation Incorporated, congratulations both the graduates and the family and friends who has helped arrive at this moment. To our graduates, it is clearly seen your outstanding achievements and is well-deserved pride. This is the best result that you gained in spite of all hardships and difficulties you encountered every day. The stress of having online classes, the struggle of doing paperwork and all your efforts. My final wish for you is to cast away your self-doubts and self-limiting thoughts 
and to believe in the power inherent within to be who you want to be and to follow your dreams. Strengthen your mind by expanding the possibilities you see for yourself and to challenge those who say you can't. When knowledge, heart, and courage come together, there is no stopping what you can accomplish. The future doesn't lie ahead of you waiting to happen. It lies deep inside of you waiting to be discovered. You should be proud of yourselves, not only for what you accomplish, but for your spirit and determination. As you leave the gates of your alma mater, kindly embody the ideals and values that we implanted and possess the visions of holding the light of future. Nevertheless, adversities are not an exemption to the rule of having success. Sure, you will face predicaments, but in spite of that, don't forget to hold on character that is very crucial. That will be your reflection for tomorrow on how you will build a strong foundation in your family, peers, community, and even yourself. Wherever you go, wherever you are, always remember FDGFI as your second home and your forever family. Congratulations to all of you. We're very proud of you.